Okay, everybody. I'm about to explain um, these paintings that I've done. All of these were dreams. Every last one of them. Some of them I had to um, paint in different, like, paint different um, versions of the same dream so that you can understand. But for the most part, this dream... Okay, let me just start by saying... Okay, in this dream, I was in, like, a really tall building. And I remember I was it was some kind of, like, office building or something. But I felt like I lived there. And so, for whatever reason, I was looking out the window. And then, all of a sudden, like, the sky was, like, this color. And it was, like, that was... But there was no stars in the sky at all. None. It was just all, like, this purple, bluish, like, night type color. You know, the regular night color of the sky. So, anyways... I was looking out at the window and I was like, oh, wow. Well, first, I remember seeing that there was a guy right directly across from me. And he waved. And it's like he was trying to tell me something, but I couldn't hear or understand what it was he was saying. So, but anyways, I ended up looking out the window. And I was like, wow, it's a beautiful night. If only there were stars in the sky. And then out of nowhere, boom, there was a star that popped up. And I was like, wow. And then just, like, a whole bunch of them just started popping up. Star after star after star. And then I started noticing that as one of them, as the stars um, that had popped up earlier, had started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I realized that the stars were actually falling to the earth. And so in this dream... <laughs> It's like the closer the stars got to me, I realized eventually that they was not stars, that they were angels. But their wings were glowing like so bright that I couldn't like, it looked like they were, they were, they looked like stars because that's how bright their wings were glowing. But anyways, um, well, I painted them this color, but they wasn't really that color. I just wanted to prove just to show you that they were actual angels but anyway some of the angels they had different like types of wings like some of them had one and then there was two and then there was some that had three sets of wings but anyways um i started um the angels started attacking the buildings but they wasn't attacking the tall ones everyone in the tall buildings was safe they was only t attacking the darkness um i remember looking down and i couldn't even see the streets of the cars I couldn't see, like, the roadways or anything, but I could hear horns honking, and when the angels, they had these, like, lightning bolt swords that looked like this. I remember they had some kind of a weird, like, symbols and stuff on it that I couldn't understand. But anyways, the angels, they was taking their lightning bolt swords, and they was pointing them at the buildings and then the buildings was like just poof like they were just bursting into flames and then they started falling and it was just torching all the, the little um buildings everything in the darkness and everybody that was down there was gone and but everybody in the tall buildings were safer and so that was this that's basically what this dream was no, that's only one of a very series of dreams. I had another dream where I was, um, I was sleeping in my bed and then I don't know where I was shot up like to the sky. And then, um, in this dream, um, well, in this, uh, this second dream, I was in the sky and then the angel that with the long locks that I've been seeing in all of my dreams. <laughs> like the earlier one I showed you beforehand. Um, the angel, this was the first time I saw the angel that I've been, that's been coming to me since I was a kid with three sets of wings. Now, the faces, I just literally just printed out random faces of random people on the internet and put it there because I suck at art. But um, I just wanted to make it um, vivid. No, anyways, I was shot up to the sky, and the angel, he didn't say anything to me. And out of nowhere, he just simply nodded his head, and then there was this. 
this like a tetrahedron, like it, it looked like the Star of David, but it was 3D. And um, in the center of it, that was like an orb of light. And it came right up to me. And like the golden, it was made of gold. The tetrahedron Star of David thingy was made of gold. And that was like little symbols and stuff that was around each individual like stick thing of the golden. I called it tetrahedron because I looked it up and the shape that I'm trying to describe is that they call it a tetrahedron. Or that's what I saw online. Anyways. But um, anyways, this, this just kind of came up to me. And it was like two triangles like that was kind of going in opposite directions and they were spinning so fast but they never hit each other and um so but anyways this it came right up to me and it was like in my face so I could see it and I wanted to touch it but I just well I didn't and then I saw it fall to the earth and then the earth, it was like a map because I remember I was able to put my hands on the earth and I was able to move it back and forth. Like, like just, I was moving the earth back and forth and like zooming in on different countries and the effects that this had, this tetrahedron thing had when it fell to the earth. And that's where these other ones come in. I believe that all of my dreams are like connected. This was definitely New York. I remember when I saw, when I was dreaming of this, the first thing that popped out of my mouth was, oh, hey, this must be New York City. Because I remember seeing so many lights in it. But I just, I don't know. But anyways, when I had this dream, this was definitely New York. I remember deliberately seeing the Statue of Liberty and a giant tsunami knocking the whole Statue of Liberty down. And I remember, I know that these two are connected because... The same Statue of Liberty is right here in the water, and it hit the National Monument in Washington, D.C., and I remember there are dead people all over the place, and before before this hit, there was dead people all over that whole coast of the U.S., and all the airplanes on the earth, they just fell to the earth, and everything was blown up, and I saw, like, these UFOs torching buildings, that's why I feel like all of these dreams must be somehow connected because they're different versions of something really, really bad that's going to happen. But the good news is, while I was moving the earth in this dream, when this fell to earth, all the wicked were perished, but the righteous survived. That's what I saw. I remember... Like, this wasn't, um, I know this is, uh, I painted the U.S., but that's only because that's the, like, that's the only continent I could actually paint that looked like anything at all. But the, what I actually saw was Africa, Europe, I saw that section of the United States when I first looked down. But yeah, I was, like, moving it back and forth. I remember seeing a woman on a highway, and there were, like, thousands, hundreds, millions of cars even. They were just, all over the world, they just stopped. The electricity was gone. There was nothing. There was just only the righteous. And I remember hearing great, like great crying and screaming and wailing around the earth about people whose, whose family and friends and like just people that they know, they knew they was gone. Even knowing that surviving meant that they was righteous. They were still grieving over those who refused to turn their lives over to Christ. This is what I dreamt. And at first I thought, hey, you know, maybe he's not going to do it. But now I've been seeing videos on YouTube about some giant a asteroid or whatever it is that they feel is going to hit the earth. And, you know, the most high can do what he wants. I just pray that people take heed to these. I don't believe that they're just mere dreams because they're so vivid. And I have dreamt things before that's actually happened. So maybe it's time that I start showing um, what the Most High has been showing me. Because I've been seeing these same three angels. These same three angels. Like all over the place. This was the same angel that told me never to give up. So, well, 
That's it. Peace, love, coconut oil.